I don't know how we're gonna do this, but I know we are going to. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited to be filming this video because I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. Today I am turning my kind of boring bookshelf into a rainbow bookshelf. I think it's just going to encourage me to read more because the way it's organized, I don't really read from this shelf. I read from this part of my library. So keep on watching if you want to watch me turn this into something way cooler. To get started, I have my book bin of things I don't read anymore and I am unhauling. This is what I call my book unhaul bin. Um, and I want to film a video showing you everything that is in here that I'm unhauling. But I brought this upstairs. It's usually in the back of my car. So I'm gonna leave that there. Let me show you everything that we're working with. I have this shelf. I also have these books on the ground. I have this empty bookshelf. And this is mainly my TBR bookshelf. And it's technically not a bookshelf. It's like a plant propagation case, if that's what you call it. There used to be like a bar here where plants can hang from and stuff, but I took it out. And then lastly, I also have a pile of books here. So that's what we're working with. I feel like the easiest way to go about this is taking every single book into a pile and then maybe as I'm like putting books in piles I'm sorting them by like books I want who's honking I'm sorting books in like I want this in the rainbow bookshelf and then I'll go by rainbow colors and then others so it's going to be messy really fast okay Everything is taken off of this shelf, so it's completely empty. On the floor, I have some piles of color. So I have purple, orange, gray, black, green, white, pink, and blue going on. One book in the DNF bin, and then these are all my series books, as well as some I don't know where they go books and then a question I don't know if I want to put that in my rainbow bookshelf because I don't know if I want to read that anytime soon so that's in my question mark but now I'm going to go to my TBR shelf and stack some of those okay so I have all my books in front of me now I'm kind of questioning if I have enough because I have too many stacks in front of me, two large stacks, and this is it. But I have one, two, three, four, five shelf to fill and I don't plan on doing any like any flipping like this. I wanted to do just, what is this called? Horizontal, like just books horizontal across, but now I think I might have to do some laying flat down because I don't have enough books. This is what I'm going for. I'm not going in the classic rainbow because this is what I feel like would look best in my opinion. So this is how I organized it. I've been working on it for a bit. So trust that I think this is what is going to work. We're gonna start out with white and then move into red and then with red, we're gonna do different shades, like all the shades and then move into pinks. And then after pink, we'll fall into orange. And then that also includes all the shades, so browns and things like that. And then yellow. After yellow, we're going to fall into greens and then blues, purple, and then black, and then we'll do grays. And then I have the perfect green and blue transition. It's normal people. Isn't that cool? It's both colors. I didn't really like this book, but it exists. A lot of blue books. Majority of my books are blue. And then now we're also entering the conversation of 
where do hardbacks go? I wanted to just do paperbacks, but now I don't even have enough books. So now I have to mix in hardbacks. And so the conversation is harder, but let's just go for it. I think the easiest way is starting to kind of just throw in books where I think they will land. So just putting all the white and pinks and red on top and then so on, putting all the blues maybe in third. So this is what you're not seeing when you're looking at me. These are the two huge book stacks. I Some of these books in here are part of series like there's Twisted Hate, which I also have another version of in the stack. I'm probably going to put this in my bookshelf because that is a like a different version. I think I'm going to organize everything and then see if I need to break up some of my series to add on here because some series can be added like the like the Emily Henry books. Those are standalones. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This is where we're currently at. I did break some of my series. I broke up the Tessa Bailey books because it was It Happened One Summer and Hook, Line, and Sinker. So I just put those in the blue and green. I, okay, this is technically like a blue, right? Like the spine, we're thinking of the spine, but I'm gonna put it in the green because I don't have enough green and it's leaning. It is leaning blue. Okay, we'll we'll figure it out when we get there. Um, oh, and I'm Honeymooner, which is yellow, but the spine is blue, which I'm adding to my blue count, which if this is how the blue shelf looks, it's definitely going to carry on into the bottom shelf. But here are some of the books that I wasn't going to add, but I might. Twilight series, I feel like I could now. Since it's gonna go in the bottom, no one is really gonna see it and I'll just add more into the row of colors. We'll see. Um, this is in, if you saw one of my videos, I bought this for 50 cents. I don't know why I did it. I still don't know why I did it, but anything he wants. This Jane Austen Sense and Sensibility, I think it's gonna go into the unhaul bin. I've been wanting to read it like a Jane Austen book, but realistically, I don't think classics interest me as much as like I want to be interested in them. So I have to unhaul that and be realistic with myself. I was going to add this into a different shelf, but I might add this into the Rainbow Bookshelf, the Joy Luck Club, Bear to You. I think I'll add it just because it's like half gray and I only have one gray spine in there just to add some color. Oh, I forgot. Everyone's like, what did you forget? I forgot that I went little free library hunting a couple days ago and I got a bunch of books. So I need to add those into my collection as well. And I just found more books to put away. So... That's fun. Ooh, that did not sound good for the table. I, okay. So we're gonna start with the white and I have more to add. So I have this and then of course this, which has a little bit of red and it'll be a good transition. But I also have a bunch of red books oh wait i forgot about the ellen hildebrand book well, i can show you the pinks but i have love in the time of serial killer which has red and pink so that's a good transition and then that's like fuchsia what is the darkest pink on here i think this right other words for home and then the summer of broken rules this is definitely the lightest pink. Oh, but then funny you should ask has like red in it. Am I overthinking this? Probably. Oh my God, my books are sun damaged. What, man? Ooh, and a little bit room to spare. 
Okay, let's move on to orange. I think it's perfect to start with Book Lovers by Emily Henry because that is the darkest one. Actually, Blue in that Attic is pretty dark, but let's take that off. Okay, now we're moving on to, oh, this one's pretty dark too, but whatever. Now we're moving on to yellows-ish with a little bit of orange left. So let's finish up the orange. Move on to the yellows. Get the golds out first, I guess. Now we're down here, showing you the purples and the black spines. At the bottom here, we have one gray book. I feel like this is where it's gonna fit best, so it is what it is. But I do have a little gap to fill, and I think that's okay um, since it is in the corner. It's not going to bother me, but I love the way the rest of this looks. So I love the way this looks. It's so cute, so organized. And now I need to put all of that away onto the other shelf, but I might do that tomorrow. I feel really tired, but we did the big thing. And I think it looks so cute. I won't go so in depth, but we have all of our colors. Look at that. And then down here at the bottom, let me pull my tripod down. We have more colors. More colors. And at the very bottom, we have a little half shelf. But that's okay. But thanks y'all for watching. Now I need to clean my room, but I'll probably put it off until tomorrow. So thanks y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and check out the description for more and catch you on the next side. Catch you on the flip side. <gasps>